YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie and welcome back to Phasmophobia. I've got a special guide slash video for you today, baby, because if you have been wanting to find out the fastest way to get all three of these badges, uh, that came with the uh, Blood Moon event. Boy, do I got the video for you. We're recording this live on my stream right now. I stream Phasma every single Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. The link for that's down below. I'd love to have you come by and say hello. But uh, as always, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. If you want to find your way back for more Phasmo content, you can hit the sub button and uh, have notifications on. Now, I will preface this before we get into anything. You have to be level 50 because we are going to be using uh, the custom settings for this. But have no fear, once you hit level 50, uh, you never have to worry about not having the custom settings ever again, even after prestiging, okay? So, with that said, enough pitter patter, chitter chatter. Let's get into it, baby. Alrighty, so the custom settings for this are gonna be amateur preset, first and foremost, because what you have to do is you have to correctly identify the ghost and survive, all right? So these settings are gonna make it super easy to knock out these contracts as fast as possible. So starting under the player tab, uh, you wanna turn on infinite sprinting, and set your player speed to 150%. Uh, lose items and consumables doesn't really matter. Go to the ghost tab, and roaming frequency is set to medium, change of favorite room is set to none. These are by default the amateur settings, but activity level, you set it to high, event frequency and uh, set it to high. Now, the kicker is friendly ghost. When you turn on friendly ghost, the ghost will not hunt you. And that makes this whole grind super easy because you have to correctly identify the ghost and survive so with this there's no reason that you die the ghost will still do events it'll still touch stuff and do interactions it'll even still respond to things like the summoning circle which you'll see in a bit but it won't initiate a cursed hunt or anything like that also because this is the amateur preset we're getting all three evidences so there should be no reason that we misidentify the ghost or die so super super good now contract here's the kicker uh, I have bumped the setup time down to zero just because I don't care. Uh, weather doesn't matter. Number of hiding places you can have it set to high doesn't matter. Um, but down here at the bottom, curse possession quantities. Turn this all the way up to all seven, and then you can just have all these set to random. Now, I know this feels like cheating. It feels like an exploit or a glitch. It's not because the trade-off is, even though we're getting progress towards the badges, you see the zero rewards multiplier here. That means you do not get any money or any XP gain from this, okay? This is specifically just to get progress towards those custom ID badges. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in uh, to Point Hope and I'm gonna show you the strategy and it's the same strategy across across all three maps, okay? Okay, so first and foremost, when, uh, when you go to go into the house, grab a flashlight, grab a photo cam, and grab some salt. You'll see why in a moment. Now, first order of business is to find the ghost room. Now, I normally hate coming to Point Hope as a solo, but because we are at max player speed and infinite sprint, this is actually a little bit more enjoyable, all right? So, the good thing is, um, if you don't know where all of the cursed possessions are on all three of these maps for this challenge, it's okay because this will help you learn. But the strategy is to find the ghost room first. So what you're going to want to do is come up to the little wine cellar area, even though it's not a cellar because it's above ground, um, and find the mirror, which is right over here. Okay. Okay, it's in a bathroom. I think it's downstairs. Okay, so now we know where the ghost room is, so we'll keep that in mind. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go up one more level in Point Hope, correction, two levels, and go to the first room, like first bedroom, which is actually a bathroom. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the summoning circle. We're going to light it. I forgot to grab a lighter, so let me go do that real quick. Because using the summoning circle, we're going to place some salt down, we're going to light it, and we're going to take a photo of the ghost. And if it steps in salt, we can roll out a wraith. If it doesn't disappear when we take a ghost photo, we can already rule out a phantom. So there's two ghosts that are already gone, right? And on top of that, if it's a shade, the shade has like a 90% chance of it spawning as like a shadow ghost model. The shade can still spawn as like a regular ghost model as well in the summoning circle. But um, if it is a shade, it has a chance to do that uh, where it appears as a shadow. So. Uh, this is actually the only time this is beneficial. Uh, I normally don't like the summoning circle low key, but, uh, because we have friendly ghosts on, we don't have to worry about the ghost hunting us either. So here we go. Let's test it out. 
We're gonna light all this. Uh, and the reason why you want to do this first off is because it will drain your sanity. And honestly, good rule of thumb. So the reason why the ghost didn't appear right there is because I used the mirror, it zapped 20% sanity. So I should have taken some sanity pills whenever I got out. Uh, got out there, grabbed my lighter. But because of that, uh, we don't have a ghost to take a photo of. However, it did step in salt, so we can rule out. You don't need you don't need to take a photo of the salt, but we can rule out a wraith. All right. So we know where the ghost is. The ghost isn't going to change ghost rooms. And honestly, the the summoning circle and the mirror are the only two uh, curse possessions that you really need. But so I believe this is where the ghost is. Alrighty, so temperatures and like kind of cold but not like too cold and so the ghost is going to do events like that but it's not going to hunt you so don't worry about that because of the settings that we have um we are going to need the photo cam here in a moment i'm actually going to drop my flashlight since the lights are on um we can we are going to get all three evidences of course so everything's fine it turned off the light dude anytime those ambient noises happen that's like the trippiest thing ever. All right, I'm. I really feel like this is a ghost room, dude. We can actually confirm that now that there shouldn't be a wall of white. Alrighty. Uh. Hello, buddy. Good to see you. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? A close. Okay, we have spirit box. So there we go. We have UV. There we go. <laughs> All right. So now all we need is dots and ghost journal, which is it even okay? So if it's if it's a phantom, okay, ghost writing is possible, freezing is possible, but EMF is not. So we don't really care about EMF now. So we'll grab these two. We already rolled out wraith because it stepped in salt in the summoning circle. Had I had more sanity, I would have been able to roll out a phantom. Something is telling me that it is a phantom. Okay, so it's just gonna do... Well, I thought it was gonna do a light event. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed the camera, because it is doing a lot of events. So maybe we'll get lucky. And instead of having to wait for dots... We, uh... Sadly have to shoot off for a night shift. Enjoyed the badge grind. I appreciate that, Smurf. Thank you for the 100 bits, man. So maybe instead of waiting for dots, we'll just try to get a ghost event. It did another sh- What- what the hell is that? Can you give me a sign? Alright, we're literally just waiting for dots or ghost riding right now. Or freezing. I don't think it's a Pulte. We can confirm that. We can just start throwing a bunch of random crap in here. How about an umbrella? So if it's a poltergeist, uh, there will be an explosion of all this crap, but... Now the ghost is genuinely doing nothing. Ah! Okay! Good comms, chat! So, uh, we had spirit box and UV, and now we have orbs. And as you can see in the journal, there's no- there's no ghost that does that. However, I know and if you're an experienced player uh, watching this, you'll know this too. The Mimic will always have Ghost Orb. So even though there's no Ghost that's grayed out, the Mimic will always have uh, UV, Spirit Box, and Freezing as its three evidences. Um, so I'm not waiting around for Freezing, but that explains why it was super active and now it's not really doing anything because it has mimicked into something else. So we're going to get out of here knowing that it is, that it is a Mimic and uh, that'll count towards the progress. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the strategy. I can do one more uh, on like Camp Woodwind and show you. I could show you Sunny Meadows as well. Uh, by the way, go to Sunny Meadows Restricted if you're doing this by yourself. Um, but as you can see, we were gonna get money, but because of the reward multiplier, uh, it made it zero. So again, this is this is strictly for just progress towards the the badges. Okay. So, uh, this is, this is gonna be a little bit better of a run here. Alright, so we got salt, we got our cam, we can go ahead and grab our lighter. And, uh, we'll come back to the truck for the, um, the sanity meds real quick, but we need to figure out where the ghost is first. That should always be your first rule of thumb. But, it is over here. 
It's either over here or right here. I don't know. It's in one of these areas. Uh, but we're going to need this. The summoning circle is conveniently right here. So we'll leave that. Let's go grab some sanity pills real quick. So we're at 100%. And then this way, we will be able to easily rule out Wraith and Phantom. Or maybe they will be a Wraith or a Phantom. Who knows? Well, it instantly stepped in salt. Okay, so no Wraith. Let's see if it's going to be a Phantom. Or a Shade. Okay, no Phantom, no Shade. And because we have Friendly Ghost on, we can sit here and stare at the Ghost and he's not going to hunt us. So we're good. And now we're at zero sanity, so the ghost is going to do, like, events and stuff, but it will not hunt. Okay? So now we can grab our evidence equipment, since we know where the ghost is. Turn this off again. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? How old are you? Okay, we have spirit box. That's the other thing I like about amateur, dude, and getting all three evidences. It seems like the ghost is a little bit more responsive on the spirit box. Okay, it just touched something. You can grab UV. It's doing a ghost event. How you doing? And we're on amateur, so it shouldn't change ghost rooms. I just want to know where it touched. I'm not seeing anything. Now we got this. Can we do ceiling dots? Imagine if we could. That'd be sick. Now we get dots since dots and writing typically take a little bit to get. I thought I paused that. We'll just leave that there. That's okay. Go grab video cam. We can put some more salt down to see if we can get some UV. Uh, I don't know if I just spammed it, so that's why I grabbed another. We could also light the bonfire, too. Uh, oh, I heard ghost riding. There we go. Alright, let's check for orbs real quick. I think you have to turn off dots now, for some reason. Alright, I'm not seeing orbs. So we're good there. Let's get this back up. And pause. Okay. Can you give me a sign? So if it's dots, it's a Dio. If it's freezing, it's a Moroi. Didn't even walk through the thing. Uh, if it's UV, it's Palti. If it's EMF, it's Spirit Box. Or Spirit. Alright, we can, uh, we can use Spirit Box again. Test for the Dio sound on the Spirit Box. Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Okay. I'm gonna go grab some more salt. But as you can see, this this can go pretty quick, man. Sometimes, that's why I like using the, uh... You suck, dude. Alright, I've got no EMF, or no UV. So, because this is amateur, we can actually rule that out. I just saw dots. It's a Diogen. Unless that was my breath. I mean, it's cold, but it's not freezing. So the Diogen would give you a special spirit box response. Where are you? No way. Where are you? I'm trying to get it. Can you give me a sign? How old are you? How did you die? Where are you? Where are you? There it is. That's the Diogen spirit box response. So with that said, we're going to skedaddle. All you have to do is like be somewhat close to the Diogen. And just like spam questions and it'll it'll respond to you with that and the deal is like my favorite ghost so if we were getting hunted there's a ladybug flying around it's on my screen um Welcome back. if we if we were getting hunted the deal is like the easiest ghost to survive against the only thing is don't hide from it just don't back yourself into a corner so that's it that's it baby again uh this is this is specifically for how to get the ID badges from the Blood Moon event uh, as fast as possible. And again, it works on all three of these maps. Uh, the only difference is uh, I would suggest going to Sunny Matters Restricted, especially if you're playing by yourself, because it makes it much, much smaller. And the only thing you got to know is the Cursed Possessions on Sunny Meadows spawn in the chapel. They are all right there on like the the stage okay but uh if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did not give me a thumbs down if you want to find your way back for more phasmo content like this you can hit the subscribe button also i record all of my videos live on stream uh the link for that is down below i stream phasmo every single sunday at 8 p.m eastern i'd love to have you come by and say hello uh we are super close to a thousand subs if we haven't already hit them 
by the time this video goes live. So uh, a premature thank you for that. So anyways, thank you for watching. And if you are not level 50 yet and you're like, dude, I really need these custom settings, you have to figure out how to level up as fast as you can, all right? And fortunately for you, I made a video for you. Check this video out right here so you can learn how to level up as fast as possible with what you have, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you over there, okay? Thank you.